Alright YouTubers, I thought I'd do a quick video of my uh, Jubilee Riviera Riviera? Riviera? I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Um, one Arm Bandit. I've done a video on this back in June last year, just before, just uh, after I moved in here. And uh, yeah, I just thought I'd redo it because that video is a bit old. I uh, didn't upload it and I wasn't enthusiastic as I could have been. Uh, I think I was just bored because I'd literally just moved in here and there's no furniture in here yet and I moved in the band that I thought I'd do a video. So yeah, one arm bandit. Um, <laughs> I bought this in 2000 and 2009, uh, somewhere around then. Basically it was one of the first things I bought when I started my first job. You know, saved up two or three wage packets once I was settled with car insurance and you know getting my first car and sorting that out and yeah um, good little band at this uh, like I said I had it for oh, what, what would it be now then well seven or eight years I've had this um, yep top glass original missing a bit of paint but you could touch that in chrome is really good uh, I believe these were made in the 1970s and then possibly converted for the up-to-date wins, possibly. Uh, someone will have to correct me on that. Supplied by Powell's Automatics, Whitley Bay. Uh, there's no stamp on the wood. Some of them have a stamp on the wood. But we do have a Category D sticker there. And I know these are chrome originally, the sides, but uh, they've been painted red. Maybe they're pitted, or you could take a risk and get the paint off, and it might be nice chrome underneath, but I thought, well, I'll just leave it red, you know. I really haven't done anything to this since I've had it, other than polished it a few times, but I will admit, this has not been used for a long time now, I'd probably say, or at least, I mean, it hasn't been used properly for two or three years maybe and the thing is with these these mechanisms when they were built as some of you might know were designed to run 24 7 the biggest cause of problems on these mechanisms is lack of use they're like an engine and uh like if anyone's had one of these you'll notice when you keep playing it for about 15 or 20 minutes it actually does sort of like warm up if you like uh, it starts running smoother it just sounds different it, it speeds up a bit so yeah, um, I'm not sure how this is going to run, because I've not used it much, I remember the last few occasions I have used it, occasionally the whole mechanism locks up, it's an easy fix but it never used to do that when I first got it, it ran perfectly, obviously it works on the old, the older Tempe's, some of the newer ones are thicker aren't they, you'll notice some fruit machines don't take the newer ones, but I've got plenty, um, so I've got all the keys for it, um, uh, cash drawer, um, there's an old token in here from, probably can't see it on the camera, nope that isn't showing up, but that's an old fruit machine token from Majestic, arcade called Majestic, uh, yeah, enough of that. Internals, ta da! There's the mechanism. You got a uh, lighting in it, which works, and uh, all that smell. You get that, there's that unique smell to these, kind of like a sort of grease they put on it. Oh, yeah, it hasn't been opened in a while. This wood, this top uh, panel, working a uh, hinge there. Some of them are missing that like a sort of a car bonnet, you just uh, put that away, you can unscrew that, take the whole mech out, um, if it seizes or you need to work on it, but yeah, such a good bit of engineering these, and this one is literally like perfect, it's like, you know, all original, I haven't even, I mean I could touch like the paint up on here, but I thought I'd just leave it, it's got so much patina, it's just been looked after this one, you know, I, I paid top money for it when I bought it, and uh, yeah, I wouldn't let this go for any less than 500 now. Um, yeah, you can get ones cheaper, but 
trust me i've bought cheaper ones and they're just they always have the, that'll be like plastic or something um the the, the mechs will just look like the sometimes even like the handles um i'll show you in a minute basically you know when you pull it and you let the handle go some of them will just fly back there's a sort of uh what do you call it a sort of piston not piston is it a piston i don't know some brass thing at the back stops it from uh I'll show you in a minute. So we'll try a few tempeys in it and yep. Good. <laughs> the lighting still works. I'm always a bit paranoid about um old light. I'll tell you what, let's switch off the light. Get it a bit more. Here we go, so working lights. And uh yeah, I'm always a bit worried I'm gonna get electrocuted or something, but obviously it's all after uh, that in it. So, will it still work? Yep. Like I say, it's been months since I used it, but yeah, what I was talking about, the handle, when you let it go, you'll notice it sort of gets to there and slowly goes back. And I'll just do it again. Yeah, sometimes that sort of piston things it isn't working, so it just goes chung all the way back. Um, handle's a bit loose do with tightening but you honestly you really you'd struggle to find a better example um sometimes that's three pound sometimes it's two games for 10p this is just 10p a game and honestly every single time oh one away every single time it pays out perfect 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 every single time it never faults on payouts you could get a cheaper example you get sticky payouts they're not correct you know Honestly, this, I mean, maybe I will sell it one day, but the thing is with something like this, it's only going to go up in value, it's only going to get more sort of scarce if you like, it's just unique in it, you can either have four or five hundred pounds in sheets of paper, government printed currency, right, what are you going to do with that anyway, probably spend it out, nights out, booze or whatever you're if you're a gambler, you'll gamble it. I don't know. What, what can you, you can only do so much for 500 quid. Or have something like this. You know, an irreplaceable piece of amusement history, British history. It'll only rise in value. Uh, it doesn't, it can't go wrong. It's not a liability at all. It's not like a car where things could go wrong and you need to maintain it. This will just sit here forever. It's just one of those things, and it is. I mean, I bet there's people out there that got a huge collections of these for investments. It's like the old Allwins into it. You could pick them up for sort of three or four hundred quid um, a few years ago, I remember, on eBay and that. And now some of them getting close to a grand now, you know, like the Elevenses and that. Um, yeah, but just, I mean, this this band that I got, like I said, I, I was I just bought it. It's kind of a bit of an impulse, I suppose. I've always wanted one, but it doesn't really look good next to the Pachislos, does it? So. This would look better in someone's collection, but it's sort of a bit sentimental to me now. Sort of, a bit, well, not to be reminded of my first job. I hated it, but it was the sort of first thing I saved up for. And the longer you own something, the more I don't. Know, and there's no emotion to this, but you don't want to just sell it, dear, for some digital numbers, which is going to sit in your bank account, and you're going to spend anyway. And you'll be like, one day, you'll be like, oh, why did I sell that, you know? Because they'll go up in value. I remember I used to have a, when I lost my job, I had a, um, a Geronimo. That was absolutely perfect. I think there might be a video on the channel. Um, what make was it? Aristocrat, Geronimo, possibly. And that, that was flawless. That was absolutely flawless. Bought it off this guy. Same guy. I can't remember what his name was. Um... He's well into the bandits. You don't see him now. But that's just the thing. Once once those sort of people go, the enthusiasts and the dealers who are into these, it's hard to pick up the private ones. Well, this is actually running very well. We haven't had a win yet, though, have we? Like I say, YouTubers, you play this for about 10 or 15 minutes. It just sort of, like, warms up. It's, there you go. Pays out. X's. There's so many in there. You can't see it, but I guarantee you that was correct. One more spin. Let's do a couple of spins with the door open. So sort of see the workings of the machine. Like I said, 
ultra reliable these. You notice all the timings are perfect. Yeah, and there's the Jubilee Riviera Bandit. Classic machine, absolute classic machine. To think there was rows of these back in the day, wouldn't there? It's like when you look at the old American casinos, you see the, um, what is it, the Jennings Governors? They're worth a few quid now, aren't they? But yeah, I mean, if anyone's interested for their collection, I mean, there's always a price on everything, isn't there? But yeah. I ain't just going to give it away, I've had it too long and like I say, it's, it's perfect really. Um, you could make it absolutely mint if you wanted to, but I'd rather just leave it like this. Nice bit of patina. Yeah, Jubilee, Riviera, Bandit.